Hey, good morning, movers and shakers. How the heck are you? Hope today is great. Today is the 2nd of September, and it's a great, beautiful day here in Michigan, and I'm loving it. However, the weather is a little bit cool, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is 2nd of September. Pink moving season is over. So a question I've been getting asked quite a bit, actually, I've had, I think I've had like six or seven uh, people email me uh, uh, this question in one various version of, or another. And that is, now that peak moving season is done, should I start my moving business? Should I start a moving company after peak moving season? That's a great question. Well, I did a video early and I'll put it right up there um, or there, or is it there? Um, for you guys to look at about when you guys should start a moving company. And basically, in a nutshell, I said, right now, start it right now. But there's two things you have to consider, all right? And I want you to take a look at these two scenarios, all right? If you have a job currently, if you're working full time and you're looking to start a moving business, my suggestion is, is keep your job until like April or May, March, April or May. Keep it right around there. Um, and the reason why I want you to keep your job is because I want you to keep the job and I want you to start saving up your money. During this time between now and like March, April, May, or whenever you decide to go full time, definitely you should be you should be rock and rolling. Once May 1st hits, you should be rock and rolling on your moving business. But let's say March or April, I want you to save up as much money as you can. And then what I want you to do during this time, I want you to do all your all your um uh, research on your, your your competition. I want you to research your competition, left, right, and center, inside and outside. If you can, if you can, go get a job with a moving company on the weekends or in the evenings or something, and see how they are doing it. If if you're not already working in the moving industry. I want you to really research. I want you to call up the moving companies, find out what they're paying, what they're offering, what kind of services. Is it cleaning services? Is it packing services? Is it moving labor only? Are they doing everything? What is it? I really want you to do your research at the time. At this time also, once you've got your research done, I want you to start building your website, getting your website designed and, and put up. You know, get get your business name. Get, um, you know, go and go get the... Get an LLC or social proprietorship or incorporation, however you want to set that up. Get that going right now. So use this time to actually put in place your company's structure, right? Get the advertising going. Get the get the get your Facebook uh, page up and, and looking good. Use this time and use the money that you're saving for these projects. Get the website. Get the uh, you know all the social media uh, products um, in place and. Get some um, blog posts for your website. Um, do start doing all everything you need to do to get it. So once once May first hits, you can hit the road running. You know, if you can get get a truck or a, a trailer. Um, set if you can't get a truck or trailer, you don't got the money. Then go and start setting up uh, your accounts with Penske or Budget Truck, um, so on and so forth. I just this is the time now. Keep your job until like March or April, and then once May 1st comes, then you can quit your job and go full-time on the moving business. But right now is the time. You can still do some moves even from now and then uh, to then, but you're just, you know, just schedule them around when you're not working, on the weekends or whatever. So you get some jobs like on Saturday and Sunday and start doing some moving jobs then. You know, get a couple guys that will help you on the weekends. And just do that. Keep your job until then and use that time to do all the to lay all the groundwork basically. That's what I'm trying to say to you. If you do not have a job, or if you're working for a moving business, uh, again, if you're working, continue. If you're not working or you're just you just you had it, now is the time to start your moving business. There is never a bad time to start your business. However, you've got to understand, if you are going to start your business at this time, especially if you are in the northern states where it snows or has a lot of snow, because, you know, further south you go, it might snow and just put dustings, but you might not get a lot. But if it snows and the snow sticks around, 
just realize you're not going to get, you might only get, I did about 10, 15 jobs uh, uh, for during my slow months, a month. Um, you know, maybe, you know, sometimes, I, you know, when on the real tight months like January or February, I've only had five, six or seven jobs. Um, it's enough to sustain my business, enough to pay the bills and pay the guys and stuff, but it's not enough to really do anything with, right? You're kind of homebound during those, if you haven't saved up money. So just make sure you're going to, you're, uh, you're mentally prepared for this. Uh, hopefully you have some money in the bank that can help you, uh, uh, go through these, uh, these, the, the slow season, um. But yes, absolutely. Start now, because if you don't have a job, now's the time. You're still going to make enough money. Um, you're still going to make enough money to to actually survive and pay your rent and all that good stuff um, if you do it right. Um, also, when when you're not working, it's a good time to start doing the groundwork, like putting up the the websites and stuff like that. And then you know you can pay as you go as you know as you go along. Start with a Facebook page first. Uh, don't worry about a website. Start with a Facebook page and drive traffic to a Facebook page. Then uh, get an actual uh, URL or a, a WW uh, address for the website and then have that directed towards your Facebook page. So using your Facebook page as a de facto website would be a perfect thing until you actually get a website. Um, things like that. Um, start laying the groundwork during the days you are not working. And there will be many days you're not going to work. Now, if you're in the southern states, you're probably going to get a lot more jobs because it's still going to be somewhat warm. The time is still going to slow down quite considerably because kids are back in school. College kids are back in school. Um, but it's So it will slow down uh, uh, tremendously. But you could still be laying the groundwork. You could be using the days off. When you're not setting up the website and the advertising and the postcards and stuff like that, you could be out there knocking on doors and passing out flyers, um, hitting up, uh, uh, you know, restoration companies, hitting up uh, uh, um, builders, hitting up uh, uh, apartment complex managers, people who manage apartment complexes, real estate agents, start getting, you know, start rubbing elbows with everybody, start getting to know, like, start going to networking groups and so on and so forth. So use these, this time, the, the downtimes that you are having. So my suggestion is if you don't have a job or it's just, you know, if it's not really working out for you, go ahead, get started right now. Just be prepared. You're going to have some slow months, okay? Um, if you have a job, uh, keep your job. Keep your job until like March or April. And then when J Mar May 1st comes, then you can hit the road. Use your time, the days that you have time to do moves, and then start setting up, uh, you know, start setting up your websites and, and getting uh, your LLC or your uh, incorporation set up if that's what you're going to do, so on and so forth. Um, and just just do that. So those are my, my suggestions to you, okay? You've got the, those two scenarios. So, yes, you can start your business, but when you're actually going to get it ramped up is basically up to you. Uh, of course, the best time to start your business is just before peak season, which means around mid to late April. That's the best time to get it started, but there is no bad time to get your moving business started. Okay, start now, get it going. You know, use the, the slow times to help you out. If you got the job, you save up the money, get the things you need, get everything set up so when it is time to quit your job, you can get rocking and rolling and you've got everything in place. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you like that answer to that question. If you didn't, screw off. I don't care. I hate you all anyway. Not a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. I know. I know there's some liberal SJW, social justice warrior, that just started crying because I triggered them right now. Um, but anyway, guys... <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys if you like the video give me a thumbs up make sure you share this with all your family and friends and if, don't forget subscribe to my channel all right guys thank you so much have a great day bye-bye